Hi families. I thought it would be helpful to make a quick video and share it with you um, in order for you to be as helpful as possible and support your sweet crocodile on their reading journey this school year. Um, during our virtual learning experience, several of our children moved from 3Y to 1G and lots of children are really close to moving from 3Y to 1G. So I'm going to share my screen and do a quick model for you on how you can support your child with practicing those power words and reading those 1G texts. I'm gonna go ahead and get that busy and start it for you right now. If you haven't found our bookshelf yet, I encourage you to please log into Google Classroom, scroll down to login information, and there's a slide for how you can access our bookshelf. Your child should be reading every night for homework, and I think you'll be amazed at what they can do already. So when you log into our bookshelf, if your child is a 3Y reader and they're close to becoming 1G, you want to start by reading a, a yellow book with them. They should be able to read this book independently, and you're just there to listen, encourage, support them, and praise them for their amazing work. Um, then you'll want to open up a 1G reader. The important thing to do, parents, is to remember at most of the informational texts, not all of them, but most of them at the end, and I took a screenshot of one of the books, at the end is um, usually a page that has the common power words that are used inside of that text. It would be helpful if you practice those with your child before they began, and just something super simple and quick, I say, you say. A, the child says A, all, the child says all, and the child says and. It would also be helpful if you wrote down these words on a piece of paper so you have it next to you as you and your child are reading that 1G text, but it's not necessary. It's not required. It would be helpful though. Okay, so let's go into hippos eat. If your child's trying to move from 3Y to 1G, the more informational text exposure, the more practice you're giving them, you're actually um, prepping them, studying with them for that 1G cold read. So when they do a 1G cold read with me, that's their assessment to get into the 1G level. They have to read 25 power words at flash speed. They also have to read a 1G text independently without any support. At the end of the text, I'm going to ask them what was the book mostly about and tell me three facts that you learned about the text so you can um, practice with them and ask them those questions at the end of reading. When we read a 1G reader, I'm going to start first by I read the tale and the child listens. Hippos, and I use my cursor and I track every single word that I, I read. I would say this is one of the power words that's going to be in the book. This is the power word eat. Make sure the child repeats it. Hippos eat. The child then repeats it. I would remind the child, put your eyes on the text. Your lips stay zipped and you're tracking the print and listening to me as I read it. This is a Hippo. Notice, parents, my cursor's underneath each word, tracking the print as I read it. Then the child reads it. This is a hippo. You want to make sure that you move your cursor, parents, underneath each word that your child is reading. You want to ensure that they're actually reading the word, this is a hippo, and not just saying this is a hippo because they memorized it. Then you can isolate the words. If your child, if your child knows the power word, you can ask them, what is this power word? They should say this. What is this power word? They should say is. If your child's not confident with the power words and you're worried about their self-esteem going down when we're reading the books, then you just tell them, this is the power word, this, you say it. This is the power word, is, you say it. Next page, hippos live here. Your child should read. Hippos live here as you track the print. If your child's saying hippos live here and your cursor is underneath the word hippos, you want to say stop and go back. Only read the words that I'm pointing to. We'll do one more page. Hippos love to be in the water. Your turn, your child should say. Hippos love to be in the water. You can ask them, what is this power word? They should say two. What is this power word? They should say be. If you point to a power word 
and you ask them, what is this power word? And your child looks at it and then thinks about the sentence, hippos love to be in the water. The, the power word's the, then excellent. Your child is using the strategies that we've been practicing. So it could look a little bit different depending on where your child is in their reading process, but using this format and this structure will be helpful in supporting your child with their reading journey. I meet with the children um, during one-on-one -on -one sessions and as well during readers workshop. So if your child is already a 1G reader, then yay, keep reading 1G. And if your child is a 3Y and we're close to becoming a 1G reader, keep reading those yellow books to foster self-confidence and independence. And then you wanna support them with those 1G books as well. Thank you so much parents, I couldn't do it without you.